want to show you how easy it is to put a recipe into my fitness pal so you're going to click on diary and then just click on add food and then you can go up to the top where the plus sign is um, you can click on the recipe tab you can see all of my recipes i've added but click on that plus sign at the very top and click create a recipe and go ahead and say that you're going to enter the ingredients manually so i'm making turkey soup and i'm not sure how many servings it's going to be quite yet but i'm just going to go ahead and put six and then I can adjust that in the end. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and quickly add all my ingredients. Onions, um, orange, pepper, cabbage. Um, let me see, this is Rotel. Cabbage, chicken broth. Um, and I think that's all. Onions, cabbage, oh, carrots. Carrots. So I'm just going to add those really quickly. And then it's going to take me, I'm going to click the arrow at the very top. And it's going to help me kind of match those ingredients. So the first one unmatched is turkey. So I'm going to go look for um, some turkey. I actually have my, let me see here look and see if my if my turkey had a label on it then I'm gonna go check real quick and I would use that but this one does not have any nutritional label on it but I do have the weight of the turkey so I want to use that as the most accurate way to kind of predict what I had so here is and this is gonna be like a turkey breast so I'm gonna be a little bit more specific because it's gonna be a little bit more lean Okay, so turkey breast. Um, I'm gonna use this Walmart one. And I had, um, let's see if I can change it to pounds because I had 4.3 pounds. So you can use, you know, servings um, with your fractions or you can just type in exactly what you had. So I had that much. So there's my turkey, and then I had my can of Rotel. And I always like to kind of double check the ingredients. So uh, for my um, one container of Rotel, it's about 60 calories, so that looks right. Um, sauteed onions, I would not use that. I would search for an alternative. So I actually used red onions, so I'm gonna be a little bit more specific. And um, so just the generic is good. I used one cup. So I'm gonna see if I can get um, something with one cup. Let's see here. Red onions. Maybe try this one, see if I can get a cup measurement. If I can't, then I'll just use um, the ounces because eight ounces is one cup. So I'm gonna try that. Oh, not 18. Eight, and that looks about right. I, you know, I like to double check. Those macros look about right. Sweet red's a little bit of a sweeter onion, so I expect um, a little bit more. But look, look at this. So here's a big one. So this gives me a total of 17 grams of total carbohydrates, but it gives me 21 grams of sugar. Well, that ain't right. You can't have more sugar that's in your total grams. So I would not use that one. Um, that must be one that was added in. Let's see what this one is. Okay, so eight, let's see what this one is. Total carb, 17, grams of sugar, 12. Okay, that's much better, all right? So really, your fiber and sugar should almost closely equal your total carbs. So that's a much more accurate representation. Okay, shredded cabbage. Um, I did, I had actually about five ounces because I did a half of a bag of 10 ounces, so I could do shredded. Let's see, Let's see if I can find something a little bit more accurate. Shredded cabbage, search, generic shredded cabbage. Um, the bag was, let's see here. 
The bag was 284 grams and I used half of a bag. So that's about 70 grams. So I used probably about two servings of that, which guys, I mean, look, it's pretty insignificant. I mean, 34 calories, cabbage is so low. Like use the heck out of cabbage. Chopped carrots, I had about a cup. That looks pretty good. Um, my turkey's good, my red onions is good, my rotel's good, my red pepper had about, um, let's see if there's about a cup. So I'm gonna change that to one cup. Oops, okay, perfect. So there we go, I've got all of my ingredients in there. And so once everything matches up and it looks appropriate, oh, my chicken broth. Did I not add my chicken broth? I don't see. Oh yeah, there's my chicken broth. So um, I'm just gonna make sure that that matches up because I used the bonafide. So I could actually go back and put in the bonafide and I would probably get a much more accurate So let's see, oh, if I could spell it right, search. So bonafide, organic provisions, bone broth. Okay, so this 40 is right. And I had three servings. So I'll put three, check. Okay, there we go. So I've matched everything. And so I'm gonna click that arrow at the very top. And then here is the breakdown of my turkey soup. Now, I'm not 100% sure what my servings are gonna look like. Um, I usually will do about a two cup serving. So once this is done, I'll try to like portion it out. I may have more than six servings, I may have less than six servings, but this will give me an idea of where to start. And then I can go back and I can modify this. So this is a great soup. It is perfect in calories, it is low in carbs, it is loaded in protein. Actually, that protein looks a little high. Um, I would kind of question that, and that means that my turkey, oh, I didn't use, <laughs> that's right, okay, so I didn't use the whole turkey <laughs> in my recipe, so let me go back and change that. I used, um, I actually weighed it out in grams. And it was about two cups, um, but I used about 130 grams. So I used about two of those, which is much better. And that seems really low. So I used, but that is what I got. I, I, I weighed out 100 and no, 230 grams, but that's about right. So now let's see what that gives me. So it's going to be a little bit, it was actually going to be much lower in the protein. So about eight grams per serving. My calories go way down. Um, so super low macro soup. Again, I think my servings are going to go down. So that will kind of um, change that. But that's the easiest way to make a recipe. Once you're done, you can save it and it'll be in your recipe file to use later, or you can log it and save it right then. Hope that helps. So um, I made a recipe and I'll post how I did that. And I'm just gonna measure out how many servings, one cup servings I have. Um, so that's two, I'll probably put four cups. Well, it looks like about three cups is gonna fit in each of these. So I will um, measure out how many cups I have and then determine how many servings this little soup has. Okay, so I figured out the serving size. I'm gonna go in and edit my recipe. So I just went over to this more button on the very bottom right hand side and then you'll see that it says my meals, recipes, and food right there in the middle. So I just clicked on that. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that turkey soup and edit. I did go ahead and change the serving size to six. And I went back and reassessed that turkey because I just felt like it was too low. 
um, two cups of turkey, I just felt like was more than what it was giving me. So um, I actually went ahead and searched for an alternative. I went ahead and looked for a turkey breast again. Um, this is probably the most frustrating part about kind of logging your food is sometimes you just got to make sure that you're picking the right thing. So I actually um, went for the turkey breast with the green check this time. And I felt like this these macros looked a little bit better. I went in and they do have the 113 gram, which is almost exactly what each of my cups were. And so I did two of those and I just felt like this, I mean, two cups of, pro, two cups of chicken of turkey should be about 55 grams of protein. Definitely. If, if not, maybe even a little bit more. So I felt like this was just a much better representation of what I actually had. So I felt good about all my numbers. This is definitely a really low macro soup. Um, and if you really look at it, I mean, shredded cabbage is like nothing. You know, your onions, your carrots, your peppers, your rotel. I mean, those are all really low macro vegetables. So any time you can add a lot of bulk in the form of these low macro vegetables, you actually get a lot to work with. So um, once I was able to finish that out, I had eight servings, so eight cups. So for every cup, and that's what I try to keep, especially soups. I'm like, typically it's like, okay, one cup is a serving because you can't really denote, you know, I guess you could say, you know, well, it doesn't really allow you. You could maybe in the, in the name, you know, just say one cup serving. So you kind of remember what the serving size is, but you know, the whole recipe makes eight servings and look at it. I mean, it's only 81 calories six carbs, you know, um, 11 grams of protein. So this is an awesome soup for a regular, a, a low carb day. I would absolutely do at least two cups, maybe even three. And you're going to get about 30 grams of protein, only about 15 carbs. Cause you can see, um, it's, you know, relatively high in fiber. It's got, you know, two grams of fiber there. So love this soup. Um, I will share the recipe so that you have it and um, can use it. But that is how you can really easy um, log your recipe. So now I have this anytime I make it to easily log what I'm eating.